Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is going to be the first video in a series of videos talking about different companies and different sources for precious metals. Uh, the first company we're talking about in this video is Monarch Precious Metals. Um, I found Monarch uh, by doing a, a search on uh, Google and looking at a bunch of different companies. Um, Monarch Precious Metals stood out to me because they have a couple unique things that they offer that other companies just can't offer. Um, one is extremely small increments of silver. They deal mainly in silver. Um, they do have one gram of gold. Uh, it's a, a small round. This is one gram. It's very small. But besides that one gram of gold that they do offer, everything else on their site is silver. So they, they deal obviously mainly in silver. Um, but because of the fact that they actually make one gram uh, rounds of silver, as well as other increments, which I'll talk about uh, later in the video, um, that sets them aside. A lot of times the smallest um, increment you can buy is a one ounce bar from, from many major sites. Um, this is good and bad. I mean, if you're looking to get a lot of silver, you don't want to buy a whole bunch of tiny little coins. It's going to cost you more. However, if you don't have a whole lot of money to invest, um, these smaller coins are, are very cool to have. They're rare. I guess they could be collectible you know, as time goes on. Um, a lot, in fact, a lot of these increments that Monarch Precious Metals offers uh, are, in fact, rare, and that's what sets them aside. Um, all of their actual rounds, and I'm calling them rounds because they're not actual currency. It's basically, I mean, it's a coin shape, but it's not technically a coin. Um, it's considered a silver round. And they have a couple different increments here. Uh, I'll start off with the smallest one and show you this. Again, this is the one gram size. I'm going to have to use my jeweler's loop to get in on detail here so I can show you this. But they're all their own designs. Now the center here is their, their logo, Monarch Precious Metals. Pretty cool little logo. It looks like a crown. And obviously the shape of the crown is the, uh, the MPM, which stands for Monarch Precious Metals, which is also imprinted in lettering around the, uh, the outside. And on the flip side of each coin, the different increments have a different uh, picture so that you can quickly set them aside. The one gram coin has a fish on it. Let me actually turn this so you can see it the right way. has a fish on there. Very cool. It says one gram on top and then .999 fine silver. So that's the one gram. Um, now I'm not going to give you prices really because prices will constantly change as the market changes. But uh, currently as of you know today when I make this video, these one gram uh, silver rounds only cost $1.55. So pretty much anyone who wants to get into silver can afford to do so. Um, shipping is very reasonable. Uh, there's a chart on the website you can refer to for shipping. I believe the cheapest shipping is $2.95 or something. So if you want to pick up, let's say, I don't know, 20 or 30 of these, it would cost you about 3 bucks for shipping and then obviously $1.55 a piece. Um, so, it, like I said, if you don't have a whole lot of money to invest and you're kind of interested in it, you want to get just a little bit for yourself for either the novelty factor or for, you know, to start a collection, um, they do offer these very small increments, which is very cool. The gram is, I, you know, most companies won't, won't even bother with a gram of silver um, just because it's not, it's not worth a whole lot. Um, and by the way, all these measurements are Troy, in Troy ounces, okay? Um, just, just as a reference, so when I talk about like an ounce, it's not a regular ounce, it's a Troy ounce, which is, um, there's 12 Troy ounces to a, a pound. So, anyway, so a gram is, like I said, a very unique product. It's a very unique size for a round in silver. In gold, it's not. It's very common. But silver, very rare. Um, the next size up that they offer is this one here. Now, let me show you the first the size, which I'm going to read off the coin because, to be honest, I forgot. It is a one-tenth ounce. Okay, so ten of these is going to equal one troy ounce. Let me show you the front of this. It has the same logo. Okay. And on the flip side... You have, uh, instead of a picture, you have the MPM for, again, Monarch Precious Metals. And then you see there, one-tenth ounce, 0.999 fine silver. Okay, the next one up. This, I believe, is a quarter ounce. And I am right. It's one-fourth ounce, so obviously four of these would equal one troy ounce. And again, if the front is exactly the same, you have the, the logo. And on the back here, on the quarter ounce, you have a nice scenery uh, with mountains. And this one's actually dated. This one's 2009. So that leads me to believe that they, you know, over the years they will change the, the pictures on these. But hopefully you can see that. It's just a mountain 
mountain scene with a couple of little pine trees on the bottom. And again, up top there, one, one fourth troy ounce. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. I apologize that I have to get so close with this. You know, the camera stinks on the uh, macro feature. But, you know, in video mode. But anyway, it's a nice little mountain scene. Next size up is one half ounce. Now you can find that this is also a, a thicker coin. Okay, it's about twice the thickness as well as being larger than the quarter, uh, quarter ounce. So this is one half ounce. And if you can maybe see there, there's a butterfly on the front. See, there's the logo. Now this one is also marked. This is 2010. Okay, now I didn't, I didn't request what years you get. I don't believe you can. I think it's pretty much whatever they have at the time. Um, so just a little note there. You don't have the option to pick what years you want. But anyway, here's the one half troy ounce you see on top. And again, same 999 fine silver. And the front part is that same logo that I showed you on all the other coins. Very cool. Okay, now as far as the, um, the rounds go, um, that's it. They only do the small small increments in rounds. Uh, once you get to one full ounce, they go into the, the uh, hand-poured ingots or bars. Okay, I don't have the one-ounce bar, but they do offer a one troy-ounce bar. Okay, the next one up is this two troy-ounce bar, which is rounded. Okay, it's more of a uh, long oval. And then, obviously, you've seen this a few times, right? The three-ounce bar is more squared off. It's pretty thick. I mean, three ounces is pretty heavy in your hand. Decent weight. You know, three troy ounces. Now that's that's as much as I have uh, as far as you know the uh, the larger bars. I will tell you though the other increments that they do offer. Uh, after the three ounce, they offer a five ounce bar, which looks very similar to this. Then they offer a five ounce flat. Uh, the flat bar is basically it's, it weighs exactly the same, but it's a different shape. It's instead of being uh, smaller and thicker, it's actually just flatter. It's a little bit larger than the regular five ounce, but it's flatter. So depending on what style you like, they offer both of those in 5-ounce. Uh, then they go up, they have a full-size 10-ounce uh, bar. Then they have a 25-ounce uh, bar. They have a, a kilogram bar. And if you don't know, a kilogram is 1,000 grams, which comes out to 32.15 ounces. And their biggest bar they offer is a 50-ounce bar. Now, for the most part, um, a lot of people who tell you if you're going to invest in silver, not to really get into the, uh, the big, like, you know, 100-ounce bars and stuff like that, um, 50 ounce bar, the biggest one they offer currently, is about as big as I would go, uh, to be honest, unless you're investing like thousands and thousands of dollars into it, um, you know, at, at one time. The, the big bars are, people say it's harder to sell. You know, I, I don't know if that's really even true. Um, obviously, the bigger it is, the more expensive it's going to be, and the less people it's going to appeal to. Not everyone wants to spend $1,000 on a silver bar. So I would say buying in smaller increments is smart, but if you're going to buy a whole bunch at one time, it's totally up to you whether you want to get, you know, 25 individual one ounce bars or if you want to get a 25 ounce bar, that's total preference. But I just want to tell you what the other things they do offer. Um, now, the last thing they offer, which is one of my favorite things, is the silver shot. Okay, and basically this is just a bunch of little, you know, silver nuggets. Okay, various sizes. It looks almost like, uh, kind of like Rice Krispies. There are a lot of little oval, you know, kind of pellets. Um, what's very cool about Monarch Precious Metals is that they're not the only person that sells Silver Shot, but so far, from my own research, they're the only place that actually sells it by one ounce increments. Okay, a lot of places that you find the Silver Shot, they only have like 10 ounces at a time, and, you know, 10 ounces of Silver Shot can cost you like 200 bucks. Okay, not everyone wants to spend $200 for something like this. So this is very cool, you can buy them by the, by the, um, the Troy Ounce. Uh, this is one troy ounce, so this, you know, in my hand, this is how much you're going to get to give you a size reference. Okay, and what's cool about the shot is that you can actually, you know, if you want to get into jewelry making and stuff, it's very easy to work with this to melt it uh, in, for jewelry. Another reason that I got shot, and I'll probably end up getting more of it, is that in the future, if I want to, let's say, um, get into odd, odd size um, sales, like let's say, if, you know, like these three ounce bars, if I want to sell three ounces at a time, if I get a bunch of shot, I can just basically... You know, add pellets to the scale until I get to whatever, uh, you know, weight I want and then bag that up and sell that at, at that specific weight. So it does have some advantages. Um, one disadvantage is obviously storage. It's a bunch of little tiny pieces unless you have some secure bags. If this were to, like, say, rip open right now 
and fall all over the floor, I'd probably be pretty mad because I'm sure I would lose some pieces here and there. Um, you know, so that's the only disadvantage, which isn't really a big deal. You also keep it in a bag, you'd be fine. But um, I did want to talk a little bit about the shot that they have as well. So they definitely have some unique products, um, and I do think that the prices are, are very good. Um, one little note I want to make in general, not specific to Monarch, but a general uh, note on buying precious metals. If you do, uh, in fact, decide to start investing in, in precious metals, if you haven't done so already, you have to really study the market, and you have to decide for yourself when is a good time to buy. Uh, a little tip I'll give you is right now, you know, currently, uh, both gold and silver prices are pretty high. Um, there's a good chance that if you guys wait a little while, the prices will drop down a little bit, you know, a couple dollars here and there. Uh, I don't know what the low is, you know, it, it, no one knows. There's really, there's no perfect uh, time to buy. Obviously, you want to buy it when it's at its cheapest, but you're never going to know when it's at its cheapest. And right now, it's about $18.50 an ounce, uh, you know, give or take. Um, let's say it gets down to $15, and you say, all right, well, it's, it's at its cheapest, and you buy a whole bunch of silver for $15 an ounce. And then let's say next year it's down to $10 an ounce. You're going to be kicking yourself, you know? Don't do that. You, you really have no idea when it's going to be at its lowest. It's really, it's a guess. But I can tell you that um, it is a little bit high right now. So whether you decide to hold off, you know, that's up to you. One little uh, side note I'll give you to that is that once prices do drop down, uh, it's going to be hard for these companies to keep up stock, okay? Especially, um, you know, smaller, specific companies. Um, for example... You know, the Monarch um, uh, Precious Metals. Let's say you wait until it's cheaper. And then you say, all right, well, I want to buy a bunch of these two-ounce bars. Well, guess what? They're probably going to be out of stock. I can't guarantee that or anything, but I'm just saying, obviously, as they get cheaper, more and more people are going to buy, and it's going to be harder to find. So um, so that's all. Just a couple of general notes on buying. So, you know, if you ask me, and I already got a couple of messages, you know, should I buy now or should I wait until it's cheaper? That's totally up to you. To be completely honest, um, it, it will probably drop. When will it drop? I have no idea. It could be a couple months. It could be five years. I, I really have no idea. If people knew exactly what was going to happen, then, you know, there wouldn't be much of a market because everyone would, uh, you know, know when to buy and know when to sell. But, um, but anyway, this video is specific to the uh, Monarch Precious Metals. I'm extremely happy with my order. Um, you know, I don't have the paper with me right here in front of me, but when you order from them, you get a little packing slip and someone signs off who specifically looked at your order uh, to make sure it's correct. Obviously, it's uh, very important that you get the right amount when you're ordering, especially when you're dealing with more expensive, uh, bigger orders. Um, but they're very good. You know, as like I said, my experience has been very good. The shipping has been very reasonably priced, and uh, it didn't take forever to get here. It only took a couple days. Um, you know, so I was real happy with it. So when I end this video, I'm just going to show you a um, uh, just a picture of what their their homepage looks like, just so you can get a quick idea. Another little note: their page was very easy to, to go through. It was very simple to um, to click on what products I wanted. As soon as you go to their website, everything's on the left column there for you. You click on it. You know all the information's there. It's very easy to use. It's not hard to navigate through the website. So that is also a major bonus. Um, now the last note: I know some of you guys will be very disappointed to hear this, but this specific company does not ship internationally. They do, they do not do international sales. I, you know, I don't know why, but unfortunately, this video and this specific company is only going to be good for people here in the USA. So just another side note there. In the future, I will be talking about companies that do ship internationally. So all my international viewers, you know, kind of hang on, you know, hang in there, and I'll get to you guys and give you some more information on that. But, um, but that's it. I, so far, you know, I'm very pleased with uh, Monarch Precious Metals. Um, you know, I love the stuff that I got from them, and I'm probably going to get order more. So, anyway, that's it. Like I said, this is the first of, of many videos like this. Um, you know, so just hang in there. I'm, I'm not going to have just silver stuff from now on, but like I said, I'm going to start featuring more and more of these videos as time goes on. I will have other videos in between. But so far, there's been a really good response with the precious metal stuff, so I figured I'd, you know, pop a video out there for you and, and get you guys started on a cool site. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to comment, send messages. Um, I've been doing a lot better lately. Um, you know, really spending just a lot of time on my messages to make sure that I answer everyone, you know, who sends them. Uh, for some reason, you didn't get your, you know, question answered, just resend it. I mean, you know, I'll try to get to it. So, so that's it. Um, again, I thank you for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.